Good morning, I'm Greg Johnson, International Sales Manager with Geoprobe Systems. This morning I want to talk about the 54TR Geoprobe Tractor Machine. The Model 54TR probing machine was designed to replace the Model 4220, which was mounted in a Kawasaki mule. As with the other 54 series machines, the 54TR has a 54 inch stroke to accommodate use of four foot probe rods. The machine, including both the probe assembly and carrier vehicle, weighs approximately 2,900 pounds. The probe assembly only weighs 1,160 pounds. The width of the machine, including the carrier vehicle, is 52 inches, and the length when unfolded, including the carrier vehicle, is 127 inches. When the mast is fully unfolded, the 54TR is 124 inches tall. One of the features of the model 54TR is the ability to move the probe assembly away from the carrier vehicle and use it as a detached unit pulling power from the carrier vehicle. The control panel has all the hydraulic controls to operate the machine. You can make the mast go up and down, you can fold the machine up, you can operate the hammer, you can operate the front outriggers. All the controls are right here. The GH40 hammer is a Geoprobe specially designed environmental soil investigation hammer. It's been designed especially for direct push applications. It does have rotation so that you can break through concrete or operate a frost auger. It also has a special pulling system called the rod grip puller. You can pull the probe rods by gripping on the outside of them while you're continually working on the inside. We've designed the special probe rod rack to keep the probe rods very close to the operator so he can conveniently get a hold of them and operate by himself. Behind the probe rod rack, we've designed a little box to keep small parts like drive caps, pull caps, cutting shoes. We've mounted that right behind the, the seat. The John Deere tractor has four-wheel drive capability and is especially suited for areas where there's a lot of travel between probe holes, especially for pipeline areas, uh, places where you have high volume but not very deep sampling. You can travel about 12 miles an hour, I think that's 19 kilometers an hour, and get easily from one spot to another. We've designed the hydraulic system with a tank on the side for extra hydraulic oil. There's a small toolbox mounted in front of it to keep small parts in, weather tight. In the front of the machine you can see that we've designed two outriggers to give the probe stability. And also in the middle there's a hydraulic oil cooler for extra hydraulic cooling when the temperature gets hot. On this side of the machine, there's another tool rack that's been designed to keep probe rods and samplers while you're traveling between probing holes. If you need a probing machine that will move quickly between sites and is very good in shallow depth applications but has the power to get through mud, the 54TR is your best choice. 